Hello, Dr. Successful Sami here, and this is Wealth in God's Presence. This is the show we teach you about what does the Bible say about making money and about business. That's what we do on this show. And we also extend it to showing you how to make money, how to manage it, multiply it, and of course, maximize it. In today's show, I'll be talking about money and marriage. Now, when you want your wife to call you only, you must give her money on le- or else she will call you monkey. I'm going to talk about that in details when I am back from this break. Stick around. Well, Welcome back, and this is still Wealth in God's Presence. Now, one of the major things that causes divorce in many marriages is the issue of money, okay? Lack of communication about money makes a lot of couples to break up. A lot of homes break up, and many, many other things follow afterwards. Now, in today's show, I'll be sharing with you about four types of couples that exist as far as money is concerned and about nine different positions a couple can have as far as money is concerned and then I'll be sharing with you about the danger 
of not talking about money and how you can manage your money and marriage relationship very properly. Let me start with the four couples that exist. Now, every man in marriage and every human in marriage, whether you're a man, whether you're a male in marriage or you're a female in marriage, you are either of these two. You are either a spendthrift or a frugal person. Spendthrift or a frugal person. So a man can be frugal. A man can be a spendthrift. A woman, a female, can be frugal. A female can be spendthrift. Who is a spendthrift? A spendthrift is somebody that spends as if there is no tomorrow. A frugal person is the person that saves his money and makes sure that he has something for tomorrow. So a frugal person usually is attracted by a spendthrift because opposite attracts. And a spendthrift person is usually attracted by a frugal person. So let's go into the four levels and four types of couples that exist all over the world. And you, as a married person, fall into these four categories. Number one, we have the man can be frugal and the woman can be frugal. That is, both of them are very, very good at saving money. That family, we have a lot of abundance to raise their children, take vacation, and do many, many things that they want to do. Frugal. Number two is when the husband is spendthrift, he spends as if there's no tomorrow, and the wife also is spendthrift, then that is a dangerous combination. Both of them can sell the whole of their house in competition of who can spend money most. Okay, they spend as if there's no tomorrow. In that type of family, you just see the man, he will go and carry the TV and go and sell it. And when the wife is asking, where's our TV? Oh, sorry, honey, I just sold it uh, very urgently, you know. Um, I just need to do some things with money. And then by the time the man come back one day and he say, ah, where is our car? He's, oh, sorry, honey, I just sold the car. I just needed to buy some shoes and clothes. And uh, that's the type of that family. Spendthrift. They are always spending, spending, spending. The only thing they specialize in is spendthrift. Now, spending works with the spirit of poverty. Saving works with the spirit of prosperity. Number, third, number three, or the third category of couple that exists, uh, the man can be a spendthrift. The woman can be frugal. In that type of case, the man will spend all his money and he will bounce over to the money of the woman and begin to spend it. They used to have a lot of clashes in that kind of marriage. And that kind of home, the woman most times is not usually straightforward with the man. Why? Because he knows the man is always wanting to take advantage of him. Number four type of couple that exists as money behavior combination is that the wife can be a spendthrift, the husband can be frugal. What happens in that type of case is that the woman frustrates the man and makes him to look like a miserable man if he does not have money. Those are the four types of couples in money behavior combination. And the first type is about the best. The second type is the worst. And just locate your family there. Now, if you fall in any of the three apart from number one, what are the things you can do to correct the problem? I'm going to be sharing that towards the end of the show. But right now, I'm going to go on a short break. And when I am back, we'll continue with the show. Stick around, don't go away.
Hello, this is Wen. Well, you lost present. Hello, this is Wealth in God's Presence, uh, where we teach what the Bible says about money so that people can have financial peace. Welcome back, and this is still Wealth in God's Presence. Wealth in God's Presence is where we teach you what the Bible says about money. And we also teach you how to make money, manage it, multiply it, and of course, maximize it. So, I've shared with you four combinations of couples based on money behavior. The second combination is couples based on work. If you have couples based on the type of work they do, we have nine combination. And one of the important things you should note if you are getting married is that your husband and, or your wife, either of you must have a job you are doing. You need money to make marriage work. Love is not enough. He needs money to be okay. So it's important for you to understand that you will be needing money in that marriage. So, if you are going to work, a man can get a paid employment. A man can also set up his business and a man may have no job. Okay? So, the same thing with a woman. It can be in a paid employment. You can set up his own business and he may not have any job. So, let's look at the combination. If you have an husband that is an entrepreneur and the wife is an entrepreneur, what do you normally have? Both of them will have enough time for their children, they will have enough time for their love life, and they will enjoy most portion of their life. Because they, they do a lot of work though, but they use their time the way they want to use it. That's the first combination under that category. Number two combination, is where you have the man is an employee is working somewhere the wife is also an employee working somewhere in that they will have to make an arrangement that can suit them to take care of their children have vacation and see how to build other sources of income that's the second combination the third combination is where the husband has no job and the wife has no job that is a terrible situation and the marriage cannot really stay for a long time, okay? Number four category is when the husband is employed and the woman is in a business. In that type of case, there will be a lot of provisional time for the children and the family is going to be a family that is moving on on a good note not really a bad note on a good note um the fifth combination is where the man is doing business and the wife is in a paid employment the man will have more time with the children and many many other things can be corrected the next thing is uh, even though that that combination is not usually common the next one is when the husband has no job and the wife is in a paid employment. That one, the man really needs to sit up if he does not want a situation whereby he will be feeling constant harassment. And that kind of home don't usually last if the wife is not understanding. The next set of combination is when the man has no job and the wife has a business. Most times, the man may want to even run the business. 
by collecting money from the woman constantly without any support. And in that type of case, if the man is not well behaved, it can close down the business of the woman. The next type of combination is when the man has no job and the woman is in a paid employment. In that kind of case, is um, the man has no job, the woman is in a paid employment, is a terrible situation to be. The next combination is the man has no job and the woman is in a business. And you know, those are the kind nine kind of combinations you can have based on the source of income of the couple. I want you to look at the one your family belong to and see how you can actually help yourself. Because any of this case, you can actually do a whole lot for your family. When you refuse to talk about money problem, money problem can scatter the home. Many people's homes are scattered because of the problem of money. How do you not handle money problem? But before I talk about how to handle money problem at home, what are some of the signs that shows that your home might likely be in the danger of breakup due to the problem of money? Number one, you are not having any discussion about money. And that's what we call OYO on your own on money issues. So the husband is not talking to the wife about money. The wife is not talking to the husband about money. Everybody is saying, I don't have money. I don't have change. I don't have money. And that can affect your home. Number two is when you do not have budget uh, that you have planned out. Number three is when you have no money talk time. That is, as a man, you don't talk about money together with your wife. As a woman, you don't talk about money together with your husband. There is no romance without finance. You need to talk about money. So when that talking lacks, then is a danger sign that the family is on a verge or is very close or on a journey to something that is not good. Okay, so make sure that you take note of that. When number four sign that there's a danger sign um, about money talk is when you are always fighting about the issue of money. When the money issue leads to bedroom issue, then it's going to affect a lot of things. And number number five that I'm going to give you is when you don't have any financial plan for tomorrow. Okay? Um, so how do you solve your money marriage problem? Number one, decide that you are going to talk about money. I say that again, decide that you as a couple will talk about money. Number two is have a plan not to call out each other. Don't be doing name tagging. Don't be abusing each other during the talk. Number three is come up with a budget from the money talk. Come up with a budget of how you are going to be spending money on some basic things um, from the money talk. The school fees of your children, the school they should go to, the things you will buy at home, the food you will eat at home, the transport, the basic expenses, the bills, the house rent. You need to talk out the budget. Number four, have a plan. What's your plan in two years' time, five years' time, seven years' time, ten years' time? What is your money plan? Number five, make sure that you have an investment plan for the family. What's your investment plan? To increase your money as a couple. Number six, make sure you have a real estate plan. Are you going to build your house? Are you going to buy a house? Are you going to, what are you going to do about property? Number seven, make sure 
that you agree on the step you'll be taking right now. If you do these seven steps, I am deeply convinced you are going to have a turnaround story on your money and your marriage relationship. On that note, I'm going to go on a short break. When I am back, we'll continue with the show. Stick up. Welcome back. Wealth in God's Presence is the show, and we have been talking about money and marriage relationship. It's important for you to know that the scriptures say that the man that cannot provide for his family is worse than an infidel. As a man, you have to provide for your family. I pray for you in the name of Jesus, the Lord will provide for you. He will make you a real man. What you need to take care of your wife, the Lord will release it to you. And your story will change forever and ever. Now, our number is on the screen. You can order for our book on money and marriage relationship. And we are going to send it to you anywhere you have in Nigeria and outside Nigeria. And if you also want the e-copy, we make it available for you. Now, you can order for any of our video courses and if they are going to change your life and our ebooks, they are all going to help you. High CX Investment, PLC US Investment, these are opportunities that can really, really help you to make between 2 to 5% every week and 20% every month. You can still contact us for those information now on the screen you will see our youtube channel dr successful summit go there watch the video click on the subscribe button like give us thumbs up share this video with your friend go to our instagram hit on the instagram button and follow us you can also go to our twitter and also follow us on twitter now when you do all of that you can also send us a message on our WhatsApp on the phone number that is showing right there on the screen. And you can support us in any way that you can. That's all we are going to take today in today's show. Till I come your way next time. Dr. Successful Summit is my name. And I'm saying till then, remain financially 